All right, guys, it is game day here at Jaff Fest. It is the final big car show and big drift event of the year in Ireland. Josh is in the MX-5. I, even though I wanted to be in the Corolla, we bent the steering rack, we couldn't fix it. I'm in the Corvette. Today is gonna to be a tough one. Probably the biggest that... You ruined my intro. <laughs> Jimmy's driving Darren's car. There's 50 drivers, 32 spaces. It's gonna be a stressful one. Well, you're along for the ride. And Lucas, still on. Still not got any shoes on. I don't trust a man with his toes out. <laughs> After 10 years of commentating them, this is my first ever Jaff Fest Top 16 parade. Holy shit! So yesterday wasn't really the best day for me or Dave. My car honestly went through probably a season's worth of damage in one session. But yesterday was practice. Today is the main day. Hopefully we've got all that bad luck and learned everything that we needed to yesterday to do good today. So hopefully we don't let the nerves get the better of us and we sink into practice and everything goes to plan. Tasting the grass a little bit there, buddy. That was not my fault. I, I saw Jack, he cut the corner, and you see on the GoPro clip, all the mud went up, and then I wasn't sure if he spun and then did a big donut. I was like, oh shit, it was the last one of practice. So I safely, respectfully, kind of slowed down and gently went into the ground. I think gently. Enough for wrecking at the back of his own car, he has to reverse into mine. What happened? Josh reversed into my car at the pits. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Furious, look. Bar all of this. Be furious over the this. I'm gonna have to get a sharpie here and actually go over that tonight. I wasn't prepared for that this weekend. We need to get reassessed on the car. We need to get reversing for your life. Just for you. I mean, I don't even have a back window and I can still reverse it in line. So I'm just saying, it's not a great end to practice. I went off and then reversed into you. Yeah, I, I have a, a problem with my front bumper. It's too heavy. And when I go down the straight, it's pushing the bumper down. The splitter's hitting the ground on the run-up. And then it's starting to wobble the bumper. Too much downforce. I actually have too much downforce. Too much aero. It's shocking. I don't know where you would get all the downforce inside. Which is really good. You know what? Keep a bit of distance. So when I practice, I can keep distance there and then I'm obviously not as confident as everyone. So I'm like, keep distance there, keep distance to the walls. For qualifying, you gotta go for it, so. Expect another Sharpie mark here after qualifying. Because that's all the damage after qualifying. Yeah, but the wind has gone, ha ha ha, this was all the damage I had. this car? Because technically, there's the bumper. Yeah. But if you scrape that, like. I feel like the wall is this height, so I feel like halfway up the spoiler is kind of where it is. It's a bit irrelevant, it's getting destroyed either way. I'm feeling like, say, 50-50 on qualifying, 50-50. I was definitely at one out of 99 yesterday. So you got 1% success rate? Yesterday, 50% success rate today. Okay. Overall, 50 so you get another 20% false confidence, then I'm at 70%. So what happened when I was this morning, my false confidence levels are pretty low. First one in the bag, and then we'll go up to, we'll go to 100. False confidence. See, you put big boy shoes on today. Oh, shoes. Oh, big upgrade. <laughs> now you look like Limp Biscuit from the early 2000s. <laughs> All right, so while Josh is trying to fix what he broke. I don't need to do this, I want to do this. Supportive brother I am. Thank you, buddy, thank you. And we're gonna go check out the car show and see what's my favorite car in the car show. 
Obviously, besides this one. All right, so let's check out the cars. Respect. Fortune Local Drift Crew. So we're coming up to obviously our spot, which is Drift Game. Cool Dina is chilling right over here. The best looking PS. The recently added R32. I personally haven't seen the S15 yet, so let's go check that out. I heard the new wheels are awesome. Who's that beat is this? Wow, look at that. That looks awesome. Just that engine is so tiny, wow. This is the grand debut of this and that. It's really nice to have these two awesome cars in our fleet. Spirit Ray S13. Always a fine sign. That rear fender is incredible. It's just so clean. Even though this right here, not so clean. What happened here? Let's check out what we got in the shop. Really fine stuff, really good quality. So if you want to get some good clothes, if you want some rims, if you want some banners, some JDM drift game stuff, come to our booth. Anytime when there's Jaff Fest or any drift event in Mandela, we got a booth out here. Make sure you come out next time if you're not here this time. And uh, yeah. All right, this is a proper building. I'm pretty sure, I hope I'm not wrong, this is a K20. Sick. So we got SP Tool Stand, which is one of our great sponsors and uh, really good tools. We use it for everything. Wayne's super happy with them. You can always trust SP Tools when fixing your car. So since Dave is driving the Corvette, I told him you must park the LZ MFG Corolla down here because people are going to love to see it. LZ drove this, Dave's been driving this. It's such a cool car. Definitely with this car because you never know Dave might just change his mind and uh, make it blue next year honestly how am I supposed to choose a car that's my favorite here there's so many cars so many different aspects different elements that are just awesome like for example 86 rocket bunny slang cool lip cool little purple little squid and it's on bags Awesome. This Honda, awesome. S solid black top with a little bit of grass in the back. Super cool wheels. Love these spokes. Awesome. I know the Z. I love my Z's. Awesome. Our partners at BC Racing got a really cool spot. What's up, guys? Shout out to BC Racing, Strom Wheels. Always good to see them. Let's go say hi. Definitely a cool stand. A bunch of little goodies. Oh my god, there's more cars right over there. There's a lot of cars here. That's the cool part about modifying cars. You put a little bit of you every time you choose some different modification than your buddy. I respect guys that modify their cars. So just quickly before, I'm um, just going to have a quick look around the car show and the first thing that I saw, I actually saw this coming in and I'm glad that it stuck around until now and this is some of you very, very old followers of Drift Games and IDC will remember this car but this was actually technically I say the first car that Drift Games, the company, built which is, which is Dave's old 350Z and it's actually in pretty much the same condition and version as he sold it. As you can see the old decals rocking the old logo and I think pretty much the only thing that's changed is, is on air. Really cool to see that car still going.
Jimmy right on here, I'm doing Jimmy Hello. things. How you doing? Hey. Are you vlogging? I'm vlogging. That's Josh's job. I know, but I'm doing everything for Josh now. <laughs> <laughs> see ya, bro. Yeah, let's go see what the boys are up to. See if the cars are sorted. Oh, what a sick t-shirt. So Dave, I went around the parking lot, and I gotta say, my favorite car in the whole thing is your older 50Z. The black one? Yeah. It's cool, right? It's the sexiest. That was, that was a good build, we enjoyed yeah. that one. I'm a big VQ guy, you know what I'm saying? Wheels. But wheels, the arcs, oh. That was like one of the first ever Pandem 350s. Like so way good. back. Way back, I know, I remember you had that. And Seven I was like, years ago, six years ago? It's sick. It still looks good. You built some cool cars in the in the, your day. I, I think I walked around, I think I bought like five or six of my old cars here. Like five, yeah. five or six of my old cars are in the show. Besides the booth. Yeah, besides the one. But that's cool, right. they kept alive, they kept clean. All the panic's going on here for modified, so we gotta go. Yeah, get it. Fueling up, the chips, the car's fueled up, the um, tires are new, and um, there's nothing more I can do. Practice is over, the... I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna go an extra 10%, I think, because qualifying is, um, there's 50 cars, so I don't think an 80 will get you in. I think you've got to go 80 and above, so I don't know. Do you believe in me? Josh, I really do believe in you. I think you're gonna be top 15. Top 15, I'm happy with. Lucas is like my little like, mentor. He's my little bit of a... Uh, he gives me the extra 5%. He gives me a few words of wisdom. Uh, uh, maybe a little message. Just the not professional racing. We don't have any radios. But Wayne, Wayne puts me down the 5%. He, um, he puts me back in check with the confidence. Yeah. Lucas puts me up. What are you wearing? You have two chains on. Two chains. Two chain. So you you like Limbus getting two chain now? I'm in love with a stripper. Yeah, that was the T paint. It's not a great start.
thought that was better than my first. That was, in my eyes, that was above an 80, but I guess we're in a weighted game now. Well, I'm a bit tentative on the second transition, but I don't know. Better is better, I guess. Buddy. Man, you know what's funny? On this channel, we have so many bad days. Things break, things don't go right. And I honestly would say, the amount of times we've nearly given up on competing and drifting and just running events. And then today, whatever happened, we woke up, we were game faces on. 86.5 for Josh and MX-5 against the best grid in Europe. And I got a 90.2. And an 80. I was gonna say, is, you were saying from the first one, I was nerve-wracking going in, but it's like, there's a lot of pressure. Like, you can see the crowd going round, it's like, and then I started celebrating and trying to do a bit of a burnout and I spun on the celebration. I did a hell of a burnout. I, my burnout was my best part of my run at the end. <laughs> but now we're in the show. The dream this weekend is to get top 16 because you get the parade in front of 10,000 people. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. The 32 mile is going to be crazy hard. But we did qualify and that's the big stress off now, I think. I said, if I qualify and in a pro grid with James Dean and the Shanahan's world, European world champions on the grid, like, that's, what, that's what I want. Look at who's beside us. James Dean and the Shanahan's. And we're in the show with them and it was 51 drivers and 32 spots and we got in so a finally a good day for drift game we've had some downs but this is definitely an up this is an up just uh walking past dave's car i'm not too sure if he's actually noticed this yet dave come here a sec what's up You definitely didn't notice that. I didn't, I didn't feel that. Uh, sorry, sorry everyone. This is a show car, Dave. Well, now, and, and as we say, once a few battle cars, it's all go now. No point minding it now, is it? No point minding it now. Front bumper got hit, back bumper got hit. That's what she was built for originally. I got a little protective of it. Now I really don't care anymore. <laughs> who's your favorite YouTube channel? Jimmy Oaks. Hey. All right, who's your second favorite YouTube channel? James Dean. Hey. Who's your third favorite YouTube channel? Drift Games. There we go. We'll work with that. We're coming for you, Jimmy. Josh is, Josh is stealing the show. <laughs> There'll be a serious argument over number one and two driver after today. Fuck, I didn't change my Instagram. No. <laughs> What's your favorite car in the, in the championship right now? This one. The first one right here? And James Dean, too. Okay. It's my guy right here. Yeah, yeah, can I make a picture with you? Of course you can. No problem. Um, where's my wife? Three, two, one. Right. I can try. If you can try, if you can find somewhere. I, I got to ask you. Sure. Can Lucas drive the Corvette? Can you drive it? No. Lucas, can Lucas drive, drive it? it? Did he tell you to say that? <laughs> no. I'm pretty sure he did. Kid I've never seen before in my life. Fair enough. You know what? I would like to see that. Good job. <laughs> We're heading off to our top 32 battle against Owen Magner. He's a really good driver, so we're not going to pull any punches. We're in it for the game win today, so whether it goes well or bad, I'll be trying my best. Thank you, brother. I'll do it. Who are you going against? A uh, fairly competitive car, one of the pro cars, so... He's gonna be fast, I have to be faster, and that's the game plan. So, is that why you're doing some aerodynamic? Uh, yeah, okay? what? Oh, oh, here we. Yes, sir, Ben in a straight follow. <laughs> you tell who's editing the video if that's left in there. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, good luck, dude. Send it.
best one you can. Not over till it's over. After 10 years of commentating them, this is my first ever Jaffest Top 16 parade. Holy sh**! This is gonna be weird. I'm not presenting it for the first time in 10 years and I'm actually in the Top 16. So it's a bit emotional. I'm gonna hold it together because I'm an adult. <laughs> Okay, so you can't really see on camera, but it's, um, this is the first time that I'm seeing the crowd here, and I'm kind of glad that I'm only seeing it now because it's really ridiculous now. They've got the whole grandstand all over there. There's another grandstand. The whole beats are surrounded, which is fairly incredible. Here we go, Dave's first ever top 16 parade in Montgomery Park. I can imagine this is uh, quite a big moment for him. Does it feel weird being on the other side, buddy? Very weird to be on the other side. I'm usually interviewing Jane. Now here I am beside James. <laughs> got Fjorn in the battle. It's gonna be wild. You got Fjorn? It's gonna be a good one, buddy. Oh. She's already battle scarred, so. Oh dear, what was such a nice car? Top 16 parade, but Dwayne gave it a pretty good go. I'm on the middle of the track, and um, it's like a yard sale here. And one thing that I have seen is a, um, ooh, I think that's a genuine. Here he goes. <laughs> I guess it's not over till it's over.
Connor may be getting more battered, but he is getting further in the competition anyways, which is all that matters. Yeah, buddy! Top eight, here we go. You weren't expecting that. I did when he hit me. I knew when he, I should have spawned like it. There was a bad bang. Like, did he? Oh my God, leveled the front of the car. I see you getting a lot more damage here. There's every corner. That's all I'm feeling Roach's car. <laughs> getting further and doing damage. It's gonna be, you know what, it's just gonna be the skeleton of the car by the end. I said just take it all off, we're in game mode now. And we only have, we've got a good draw next though, so we're good. Gotta take this to the final. But well, I gotta get by the next guy first. Obviously. And it's, it's James Dean, so. Oh, shit. You know what? What's gonna happen is gonna happen. It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. This man drove that motherfucker, wow. He's got James Dean next. James Dean's next? Yeah. You know what? There's no shame in losing to James. I'm on win street here. You have a lot to gain from winning. Put it to his door. Now that's a picture. Yeah. Now that's a picture. I'll give it a go. I'll give it every go I have. I know Dave pretty well at this point. And what I do know is that he is going to do absolutely everything to give it to James. It's lined up to be one hell of a battle, I think. Put the grip in. Yeah. Wayne's getting a little more serious now. That's gonna be so sick. Him versus James. He's gonna do something silly. He's either gonna do something spectacular or crash in the process. But you know what? That's a big investment, you know, in going into this one race. But if he sends it like he should, I think this is gonna be a legendary race. Let's go talk to we're, here, we're here for the story, we're here for the story. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going good? on? Very hey, can good. somebody give me a, a stool? I need. Bit of a height difference wow. there. Vertically challenged. Ouch. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. sorry. Anyways, okay. you're going against Dave. The boss. The big boss. The head honcho, as they call him. Head honcho, yeah. yeah that's that's going to be fun. How do you feel about that? I'm excited. Yeah. At least I'm going to be on the Drift Games vlog, right? Yeah. <laughs> Will you not do, um, put some more damage on the car? He's been getting quite a bit of damage. If, just go softly. I'll try to touch him somewhere just for the video. For the picture, that's a, that sounds video. dirty. Yeah, it should be fun. Is he excited? He must be. Uh, he's, he, he's winding himself up. Wayne, you know what? At this part of the competition, you can tell Wayne stepped through. He's like, let's do something. <laughs> Essentially, the last time we see it that pretty. <laughs> Not to over dramatize this, but this is a pretty big moment. on the door to James Dean is no joke. Now to see what James is going to do. Oh, I'm nervous just on the side here. I actually don't know. shame in going out to James Dean that way. I get, that's as much as I could give him. Like. And you did. Like, 
that's obviously a very fast car and you stayed with him, like you genuinely kept up. I was on his door at the end of the run, like on his, actually on his door. I think my lead was my best lead I've done today. And I just, on the chase, it's just trying to dive through the smoke. It's so hard to see where he is sometimes. Once he gets that little jump on you, I just lost him for a second, then I caught him again. But look, to do a 90, what, 90 point qualifying run, win 32, 16, and go out to James, that's a good day at the office for me. As far as our drift days go, this has been a bad one. The car is wrecked, but it was totally worth it. Like, that's probably one of the best days drifting I've ever had. We go again and again there. Like, I, I definitely feel my aggression level went up today a lot more than I've ever driven before. My, my takeaway from this weekend is I, I wasn't terrible against James. I can see he probably just outdid me. But compared to driving that I've done this year to what he's done, I'm happy to just be in the conversation. It was a good battle. So we softened the BCs to full soft, and I ran 10 PSI for that battle. And it was incredibly grippy tires. And like, it was moving. Like, I could feel it in the car being like, I am going very fast, very, very fast. We were getting a little down on it, Josh. Like, we were doing pretty bad and not doing well, and then today, your car worked, my car worked. The two cars that we built Game Changers at, right, took you to a pro jab fest took me to a battle with James Dean in the top eight in front of 10,000 people. You couldn't say that's not the end of the story or maybe it's just the start of the story. Crazy as an idea from head to two years later, both doing that. It almost, if we didn't do that over COVID, this would have never happened. From an old man's Corvette with plastic on the seats to battling James Dean door to door in the top eight in Ireland. That's the story. There we are, the day is done. This weekend has been ups, downs, and to be fair, I think that's what drifting is. We would not have the best luck all time with drifting, but I think two years ago, we built the Corvette and the MX-5, and I think today, for me and Dave, everything did actually come together. By no means has it been easy at times, but I think we're finally in a place where it's nice. So thank you all of you guys for following the story of the cars for supporting us because without you well we might have given up so i'm going to leave you guys there i'm not too sure what's going to be next what we're planning we're very tired it's been a long couple of days weeks month in fact once again thank you for watching supporting good night